Good evening everyone, my name is Nara Iskanyula Moste. I am pursuing a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English at Southern Philippines Agribusiness and Marine and Aquatic School of Technology. For today's presentation, I am going to discuss about conditionals and one of the types of conditional sentences, which is the real conditionals. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So I have an image here that shows individuals with different personalities, nationalities, culture, or even traditions. Okay, as human beings, we always picture out vivid or faint images in our future, right? And these images represent our hopes and some conditions that we wanted to achieve. We can also realize that some of these conditions can be turned into reality or will just remain in the realm of our hope and also will just remain as imaginary. So what I'm saying is that related our topic which is the conditionals. So what are conditionals? Conditionals are sentences that describe situations in the future that might happen, which would happen, or that might never happen. Right? There is a moment in our life that describes situations in the future that might happen, which would happen, or that might never happen. Okay, so conditionals comprise two classes. Number one, dependent condition class or the if class. Number two, independent result class. So we have an examples here. Remember that in a sentence, if there's a comma, we must take a pause. So if you like, pause. Because there's a comma here, right? We can watch a movie. Again, if you like, we can watch a movie. So as we can see that the F clause here is placed at the beginning of a sentence. And the independent result clause is here. We can watch a movie. Okay, because if we go back to conditionals comprise two classes, two classes, I mean, number one, dependent condition clause or the if clause. We have the if clause here. Then, the second, independent result clause. We have the result clause here, which is we can watch a movie. Okay, that second sentence, we, pause, if you like, pause, can watch a movie. Again, we, if you like, can watch a movie. So as we can see here, that the if clause is placed at the middle of a sentence. It is also written here that it is placed at the middle. I mean in the middle. Then here it is placed at the beginning. Okay, again, we, if you like, can watch a movie. The if clause is here and the result clause is here, can watch a movie. Okay, lastly, we can watch a movie if you like. So there's there's no comma here, so we don't need to pause, okay? Again, we can watch a movie if you like. If you go back to the meaning of conditionals comprise two clauses, dependent condition clause or the if clause, we have the if clause, right? And independent result clause, we have the independent result clause. As we observe that we are similar sentences they are the same sentences but the if clause is placed differently okay so these are the examples of conditionals because it comprises two clauses again number one dependent condition clause or the if clause and number two independent result clause okay so let's move forward there are two types of conditional sentence, the real conditionals and unreal conditionals. Okay, but for today's presentation, I am going to discuss real conditionals because it's just assigned to me to discuss real conditionals. The unreal conditionals will discuss by one of my group mates, group members, okay? So real conditionals refers to sentences that occur regularly or are likely to happen in the future. Then it includes two clauses, one with if, the other with then. Here we have an examples here to better understand what 
are real conditionals. So, example number one. Water boils if it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. So, as we go back to the meaning, it includes two clauses, one with if, the other with then. So, we have if. If, the re if it reaches 100 degrees Celsius, then the water boils. I have an image here. A pot of a boiling water. Okay? So again, water boils if it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. So if it did not reach 100 degrees Celsius, mean that the water will not boil. Right? So, we will go to the second sentence. If we study, we will pass. Again, it includes two classes, one with if, the other with then. Okay, one with if, if we study, then, then we will pass. So, I have an image here. A woman who is studying. Okay? So, it means that if we will not study, we will not pass, right? So, what else? Again, the real conditionals refers to sentences that occur regularly or are likely to happen in the future. Then, it includes two clauses, one with if, the other with then. The same with the examples, right? The F, then water boils. The F, if it reaches 1 degree Celsius, then the water boils. If we study, then we will pass. Okay, go back here. Conditionals are sentences that describe situations in the future that might happen, which would happen, or that might never happen. The conditionals comprise two clauses, dependent condition clause or the if clause, then independent result clause. Okay, if you like, we can watch a movie. The if clause is placed at the beginning of a sentence. We, if you like, can watch a movie. The if clause is placed at the middle of a sentence. Then, we can watch a movie if you like. The if clause is placed at the end of a sentence. They are the same sentences, but their if clause placed differently. So, they are examples of conditional sentences because, again, they have if clause and they have independent result clause. So, that's all for today's presentation. Again, my name is Lera Escanio Lamaste. I am pursuing a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English at Southern Philippines Agribusiness Marine, an aquatic school of technology. Thank you and have a good day.